It's another round of... No, Vimpia's Arsehole Race. Well, there was a little... You, you came in a little late there. Well, we hadn't discussed plans. There was plans. a bit of a long pause. Cunt. Ah. Cunt. No, there's choosing to ver verbally blossom verbally. I got the line wrong. Cue the music. <laughs> the winner of No Vimpia's Arsehole Race will win a cash prize of £1.25. Some random shit from our house and a signed Novimpia t-shirt, as well as the title of Novimpia's next Grandmaster Asshole. May the best dickhead, best dickhead win! <laughs> May the best dickhead, best dickhead... Okay, so, for this week's challenge, week by weekly monthly challenge, <laughs> um, we asked the girls... Boys, we wanted their best, as Olympia put it, resort wear, swimwear, shoot. I was very happy with these results. Yeah, As you really should good. be when you get to the end, because these are the best of the best. Yes, I think a lot of people were very shocked to say goodbye to Ice Hole last week. I... But you know what? This is this is where we are in the competition now. You've just got to really wow us because the standard is so high. I actually, all joking aside, thought Ice Hole would get a bit further than that. I was a bit disappointed because she was one of my favourites, and I you're not supposed to have favourites. Also, we haven't really mentioned the new setup. Well, I have no idea what's going on behind us. We're going to make a bad decision in editing. <laughs> we're sitting on the beach. We're sitting on the beach. Okay. We're doing this because it's resort wear, so we're on the beach today. Okay, brilliant. So, um, there's crabs by the feet. So, who's who's first? Right, so first of all, we have Mitzi Metastasis. Okay, Mitzi, bring it, please. And she is bringing us a campy vintage bubblegum moment from Mitzi. Now, Slight this... homage to Ben de la Creme. Why Ben de la Creme? I would have thought more a Violet Tchotchke moment when she had all the pink bows on. I don't know, but we have a lot of pieces here. We've got a two-piece, we've got sunglasses, we have a sun hat. I love that it's all pink bows. I think this is adorable. I don't usually have much investment in Mitzi. I don't think, thinking back, that there are many that I would think, oh yeah, she's been great. This one I do appreciate. I do like it. I'm going to just immediately say it though. It's just in like an office or something. This is resort wear and you're like wearing a bikini inside the house. No, but I think it's better than last time because last time we had all kind of like shit around there. There's clearly... At least this one looks like it could be like a studio. Somewhere. There's lighting from different directions. So you, you got that, you know, you're thinking about that. You're thinking about I wasn't light. too bothered about the actual photograph this week. I was more worried about the look. If personally. we're talking about the look, it's absolutely bloody adorable. I'd like to know why her face is so high and to the right of her body it but that's fine if that's the way she is because you know bodies come in all shapes and sizes i love this i think it's so cute it's a yeah. great great effort with the very outfit. very cute we like well done mitzi congratulations you're here next we have nigella torson who was our winner last week and Hello. i don't get this just hopped off my shaggy camel ready to slip out of my torso now, Nigella does not have immunity this week, is that correct? She does not have immunity. So, that's a shame because this is... What is this filter? Why is it like so... It's like, so bleached. ...bathed in light, you can't see anything. Um, I feel like it could have been quite interesting. Look, it's like a halter neck. Like, what's going on here? They're like... It is quite like a belly of... dancing kind of costume. Do you know what I think this person did? I think Nigella realised the background wasn't very good, so made it all white to make it look a bit kind of like special. It looks a bit like it could be a fragrance advert or something. The way she's got her name on there, I just... I like how expensive it looks, but the... You can't see the It's look. sort of a... It's, the top is nice. You can't really see... I mean, is she wearing anything below that belt? Because that's unfortunate. If that's the outfit, it's just that belt. Because that's going to... You're going to show your vagina. There'll be vulva on show for everyone. I mean, depending but, on what you're into, you know, not necessarily vulva. a bad thing. There's a lot of vulva. So, I don't love this, Nigella. No, I think Nigella's in trouble this week. If you can't handle the heat, then get out of the kitchen. Next up, we have a lot of words, and she is having a day out in the sun. Fingers crossed this week for a lotter. Now, a lotter. <laughs> I that love how she is... superimposed herself into this beautiful oasis. See, you can put a little bit of effort in, you can superimpose. That's so cute, I love that. She's so excited to be there, like, these are my palm tree friends! Well, the photo is great, but let's actually look at the outfit. I mean, it's... I like it, it's bondage -y. it's dominatrix -y. it's black. I like that she's got little tiny sunglasses on, which are like, they're just rhinestones, which is great. Very but revealing. These titties. girls, these girls like to wear some revealing shit. I quite like this. It's simple, but it works. I would have worn a one piece. I do like that she is almost as tall as the palm tree itself. Yes, that's a <laughs> tiny little palm tree, I suppose, if you put it that way. Um, I'd like to know where, where you are and say where she is. 
just no, says they are they in, the in the sun. sun. I like that actually. That's a very nice outfit. You look very happy about it. It's cute. Excited. It's cute. It doesn't excite me, but it's cute. All right. Yes, it's quite safe. Now we have Ariane, and Ariane is giving us vintage Barbie day at the beach realness. Now, Ariane usually gives us quite ooky spooky, as Alyssa would say. Okay, okay, um, okay. This is okay. a bit of a departure from that. We've got a okay. soft kind of like side bang. Um, I do like that it's like a one piece and she's smiling. I appreciate that little cute one piece. That's adorable, actually. From a fashion point of view, you're in. Heidi Klum, you're in. I feel like that outfit would have taken a, a, a minute to make. Um, maybe. Like in a good way, like I think it would have taken a little bit of time to make. I like that she's still got her signature eyes, but she's got a smile this time, and it's a really cute hairstyle. And to be honest... She's flirting with the camera. It's a it's a different take on it. It's vintage, and I like that it's vintage, because it's a, it's a very whole, realised, you know, concept. Very conceptual. Yeah. Um, is it a very exciting picture? Probably not, but it's still cute. I like it. Yeah, I think it's cute. I don't think it's Ariane's best. It's not her best. Safest, it's really. not her best, but it's certainly not the worst we've seen this way. Now we have Ashley, the pantyhose doll, serving us just hanging out at the beach in the middle of full realness. I have to admit, I've seen this already. I saw it as soon as it came on my feed, and I just could not control how overwhelmed with absolute adorableness I was. I just, I can't even put it into words. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I need to buy a toilet. <laughs> because poo, that is the best Ashley has ever looked. I love how she's like actually on location for a start. She is on the beach. That is. And the way she's just facing the sun like, She's so excited to be there. She's having the time of her life in a little hat. Oh, there's another the shell. outfit's really good. I like a seashell bra. Yes, I like that the bikini is round your neck, <laughs> which is a nice place to put a bikini. You might have your tits out. And a nice sarong with a flower. It's gorgeous. I think this is completely ticks every box for me. I can't believe you found a sunny day on the beach. In, in Boston. What, what, and what, what month is it? October, November of this was? It's the cutest fucking thing in the world. And I'm just, I don't even, we don't even need to deliberate, no for this week's winner. Well, we haven't even done all of them yet. Oh, who else is there? So calm down. <laughs> that is all of them. No, it's not all of them. We're Mary Berry. Oh, we got a couple of Mary Berry. I absolutely love it. I think it's so, so adorable. Mary Berries won't be better than that. Oh. Well, I'm just going to edit one of that out. What? This doesn't make any sense. No, leave that in. <laughs> Go on. Leave that in. No, leave that in. Right, next we have Mary Berry. She is our last competitor and she has given us a Christmas <laughs> card. Happy holidays from the Berry Cabin. That's cute. We also have another shot. I mean, it's, is it resort? Man? I don't understand why we have a Christmas bikini. I like it because it's so ugly. Like, what the fuck is that? It's so ugly. She's still got a, an evening gown on underneath it, which I love. I just, I why don't she understand. Why is she wearing a gown it? with a full diamond necklace, but she's why got a, bikini, is she a Christmas at, bikini? Why is she at a cabin wearing a bikini? It's so bizarre. What does this description say? I like it for just how, you know, bonkers Tammy Brown left feet out of left field this is. It's so weird. I don't know if I like this. Is it, it does it follow the brief? Maybe not. I don't think it's been, I don't think a lot of work has gone into this either. It's like two, like half Christmas decorations smacked on it. I think Mary Berry has fallen foul of being wrapped in a cloak maybe one too many times. So say, despite the snow, she made sure to pack some swimwear for the hot tub. Okay, I get Hot it. Hot tub. I'm sorry, I don't like this. Should we just have a quick deliberation? Because I think I know who the winner's gonna be. The These are two. all of our contestants. So yes, let's deliberate. It's, there isn't any really shit ones though. Not really shit. Mm. I mean, Nigella's is pretty shit. Yeah. But let's, so let's deliberate. All right. Okay. Ashley, the pantyhose doll. We had all but given up on you. Well, we hadn't. That RuPaul said that once. Okay. But you really turned it this week. Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's challenge. You are so the winner, there was no question about it. Ashley, I'm so happy you've won a challenge because I know you work so hard. Uh, you work so bloody hard for this. This is just like, I think one of my favorite entries in the competition so far. Wait, are there five contestants now? Yes. Ashley, you've made the top four. You've made the top four. Oh my God, so exciting for you. Is that one, two? There's no three, immunity four. though. Wait, one, you two, win. three, four, five. No, she made the top five. Who's this? There's six now. There's six. You're in the top five. This never fucking ends. I hate this. You've won a trip to Cuba. 
No, she hasn't. Courtesy of McVitie's Biscuits. And the bottom two are, oh, Nigella Torson. This week, you tried to make us a nice bowl of eat and miss, but instead of it fitting inside, it bulged over the rims of the, of the glass in which you were serving it. You are in the bottom two. <laughs> Cardboard Mary Berry. You are a piece of corrugated cardboard for that, which you're in the fucking bottom two for that. Is that a good or bad corrugated? It's, I don't it, it is what it is and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you girls, I think kind of, I don't know, I think just compared to the others, didn't quite bring what everyone else bought. But I'm sorry, the, the, there was you one in, the in particular two. who really missed the mark for me this week. We've decided that the eliminated contestant is, well, I will say this, Cardboard Mary Berry, you were dangerously off your game this week. Bring your A-frame. <laughs> but, Nigella Torson, fuck off. Yes, Nigella, I don't know if this was just a little bit too conceptual for me, but I just wasn't getting anything really in the brief. But we've loved having you. You've probably been one of the most fucking weird contestants that we've had. So thank you for it, that. It's got to the part now where we have to say goodbye to our best girls. But you know, as as uh, gay people, you know, we get to choose our family. We get to choose the people that we're around. Okay, that, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yes. sorry, I, again, I'm surprised you didn't make it. I'm not, I think but Nigella left at the right time. No, I don't, I'm really annoyed. I thought Ice Hole, Nigella would be in the top. I don't know, there's a couple left, but I'm surprised they're still there. Well, congratulations to everyone who was still so, there. So, top congratulations five. Congratulations to Ashley, you are all of the top five. So, for next week's challenge. Oh, we've got a challenge for you. We would like to do, that's my belly, can you hear that? Yes. A Novimpia's asshole race snatch game. So. Wait, we can't call it that, call it something else. We can call it snatch game. Gash game. Gash game. The gash game? <laughs> um, we are looking for a celebrity impersonation. Yes, we are. Mary Berry, you cannot come as yourself. Nope. Impersonation. And we want a photograph of said impersonation. And we're also going to be asking you a series of questions, which will be at the end of this video on screen. And you need to record a video of you answering each of these questions. So maybe it would make sense for someone to ask your contestant the question and then they answer it. That's so that we know what you're talking about. We're going to edit this into a gash game extravaganza. So all we need is one video of you answering each question all in one clip. Ah, uh, and also we would like a matching photograph. I've already said that though. <laughs> <laughs> So one video and one photograph, please, yes. of your Snatch Game impersonation. Celebrity impersonation. A uh, gash game. <laughs> and we'll see you here next week. Yes. Well, maybe next week. Next time. And thank, oh, cheers for coming. And your deadline is on the screen now. Please, please, please submit for the deadline. I think everyone's really good at that now. Getting, yes, getting you guys are fine. I'm scared. It's us now. that are like getting slower and slower with this. But um, I was up. reading the Novimpia Reddit that, that one time, I think it was the last episode, where we took a particularly long time to get the episode out. Why people are you like, talking about it? People were like, have they have they forgotten about it? Like, is it still on? We did are forget. We, are we still doing this I show? didn't know we were still doing it. I thought um, Harry the Cactus won. No. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and find all of our social media in the description below. All the contestants will be on Facebook as usual with where they play safe, high or low. Join the Novimpia cult and become an asshole. Bye then. Goodbye.